So I'm going to replace the pads on my uh, Tektro Gemini brakes. Um, this is on a Diamondback Atros Comp. It's a 2015. Uh, a lot of bikes around that time, 2015, 2014, had um, had these brakes. Uh, they're hydraulic brakes, and um, they um, they're pretty good. And you can either buy the Tektro brakes, which I ordered on Amazon. Uh, lights right on it, but this little packet costs 12 bucks, and you can see they actually the same ones that fit those right there. But then I went on Nash Bar, and they had the brakes for the Nash Bar mechanical disc brakes, and they're 5.99, and they had the exact same brakes in there. They actually had the Tektro. Uh, brand right there and they are the E10 11s those are the resin pads so to change it's really straight uh, straightforward um, so each uh, each little kit came with two pads and uh, and and the spring right there um, and then you have a three millimeter hex right there you're just gonna remove just unscrew it right out that three millimeter bolt okay and you're gonna push the old pads out Right there, they're going to come out the bottom. Oh, it's out of. Alright, so I just unscrewed the bolt, pushed from the top, they came out the bottom. And um, they had, uh, these are 8 10 11s. I don't know what the difference is. Um, so, they're actually not bad. But uh, for some reason, they they get they're really dirty. I don't know. They they're just not performing like I would like right now. Um, maybe and I, I already did the rears, and it did perform a little better uh, with the rears on. I'm sorry about the noise there. Okay, so to put them back on, it's like most instructions say, it's the reverse of installation is the reverse of removal. You're going to take the clip and you're going to slide the pad in there. And same thing, slide the other pad in there. And then it's just a matter, so it's sandwiched like that, of just squeezing it and pushing it in from the bottom. So we're just going to come in from here. And squeeze them in and just make sure that they that they're seated in there. Okay. So once they're seated from the bottom, Just put the pin through and make sure that you're going through that that your you have your pad, your spring, and your other pad. And then it's just a matter of um screwing it in. And these um you don't wanna tighten them because you'll uh, ruin the threads. Uh, so you don't want to tighten them too much. So that's about snug right there, that's where it stops just give it not even a quarter turn if you want to be um, really precise that should be about uh, five Newton meters so you take a uh, torque wrench which I have one I'll probably go ahead and do that in a sec and um, and um, tighten it that way the thing I don't think I have a uh, three millimeter wrench that small that will actually fit in there to the torque wrench but that's it so yes 
put them from the bottom one screw one bolt that's it probably the best tip I can give you is that um, look around because you can either pay 12 13 bucks for the Tektro or you can pay six bucks for the Nash bar and they'll actually be the Tektro brand the exact same pad so shop around and um, they also the Shimano I think it's the B105 S or something like that um, will also fit I'll put it in the description